Welcome back, guys, for more Timberborn. What are we going to do in this episode? Well, in the last episode, we created the green monster. In this episode, we're going to try and put a floating industrial complex in here. Uh, it, it should look freaking awesome, but my God, it's going to be complicated. Uh, there are one or two buildings that need to go on top of it. Uh, all of these, all of these, and all of these need to go on top of this. And that's just the, the, the actual processing buildings. That's not including storage. That's not including, you know, all the additional stuff like recharging stations and uh, I, like all the ancillary buildings. It's going to be interesting. I'm going to start off with trying to get the, um, the smelting going so that we can produce metal blocks because, boy, this is going to take a lot of, a lot of metal blocks. Uh, we're going to be using primarily this thing, the large metal platform. It's pretty big. It's pretty big. And it costs 500 metal blocks each. Each one is 500 metal blocks. That is a hell of a lot of metal. Let's unlock it. Um, to give you an idea, I've currently got like 2.7k of... Uh, no, that's, that's gears. I've got, sorry, 5.8k of metal blocks. Uh, and I'm just about to put in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... And then six, seven, and then this is, you know what? I'll, I'll put these in so that you get like an initial idea of where this is headed. One there, one there, one there. Yeah, that should take us to the edge, which it does. Excellent. And then we'll be going forward from there as well. And this is going to be going out on each side as well. How many metal blocks is that, Sky? Well, let's see. I've got five. That's ten. That's 5,000 metal blocks straight off, <laughs> which is my entire supply of metal blocks. So I'm thinking we need to get <laughs> producing metal fast. Well, I haven't built a single building yet, and I'm already going to make a change to my <laughs> initial design. Um, originally, I was going to have a staircase going up here from to, to bring stuff from the mine up here. But... I just thought it might be cool to have a central staircase. So let's... I don't know, I don't know if this is even going to work. There's so much of this that I don't know if it's going to work or not. Um, I may I may be forced to install a couple of mods. The ladder mod, which allows you to build vertical ladders, and the, uh, the vertical power mod, which allows you to build vertical power lines. I'm going to try not to. I'm going to try not to, but we'll see. Okay, so I need a staircase going up here. <laughs> oh, this is where things are going to start to get really interesting. And it doesn't help that you can't get your camera in the right place. So let's see. Um, how high does that need? That's three. So we'd need a, a two to get up to, the, to, the, to that level. So I just need a one. Then we need a three and a two two and a one gets us down to the ground level okay awesome so let's get some uh, let's get some stairs in so, so that we can actually get up to this now you may be saying well you got, you got staircases at the back yeah i'm aware but this is already going to be tremendously inefficient so anything that we can do to improve access is going to be very very welcome you know what i like that I, I, yeah, I like that. I like that quite a lot, actually. So we'll have, um, we'll have the path coming across there. Now, if I take that path across there as well, see, all of this is costing me tiles. That's the problem. So I'm thinking we have that path across there. So they're going to bring stuff up from the mine, which is already a haul because they've got to bring it up all around here first. Then they've got to carry it up here. And that's just to bring the scrap metal up. It's also the same for taking everything down to the mine, which is going to be explosives, gears, and treated planks. So, yeah. Efficient? This is not. Okay, uh, I can get rid of this path running along here. So we'll rip that out. Okay. Now, the only part of the, of the, of the plan, because I tried to plan this out, right? I tried to plan out the whole thing. And I got a certain distance, and then my head blew up. It's like, it's too complicated. Uh, I just I just couldn't get it all together. So I'm just I'm just gonna wing it. I'm not completely wing it, but I'm gonna wing 
parts of it. Uh, so what am I doing? Oh yeah, let's start off um, storage. One, two, three. Okay, uh, I've got six smelters that I want to put in. Uh, I, I'm going to need some platforms. So we'll have some platforms going on across the back. And then we'll grab smelters, which is under metal. Here we go. And we want one, two, three. Ah, now this is the problem. Because, yeah, uh, what I want is, is two banks of three. <laughs> so instantly, I need to get rid of these. <laughs> it, God, this is going to be... This is going to be a bit of a nightmare. Shut, shut up, Sky, and uh, and build something. All right, fine. So we'll have those going across there like that, and then we'll throw in the smelters, which are going to go in one, two, three, four, and then we want five and six, don't we? There and there. Okay, well, if you're going to have those elevated up there, you're going to need platforms. So we're going to have platforms going across like that awesome okay and obviously we're going to need to fill that in with platforms okay <laughs> so this staircase comes up here but it doesn't go up to here so that's the first blooming problem it's like should this staircase actually move one forward so that i can have the stairs going up to there and then you think well should the stairs move two forward so that you can have a platform here um, or oh, sorry, a platform here so they can go to either side as well as uh, then the staircase going up. And I'm thinking, yes, that's exactly what we need. I think the first platform is going to get built any second because they've brought all the materials for it. It just needs somebody. To here he goes. Boom. We have our first platform. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. Now, quite a few of you left comments on the last video about the fact that I hadn't put, I hadn't connected this this staircase to this path you were like ah you've forgotten to put the path in. no i haven't put that in because this path isn't actually connected to anything right and not only is it not connected to anything it's gonna go away i might end up putting that back in but i kind of just want to illustrate the point that it's not there for, a, for like any good reason uh so we've got to get up to here um, and I'm wondering, do I move the control towers across one and have stairs and a platform going in? Or do I do I bring it around here and have a, a connection there? <laughs> I don't know. Or do I do both? I don't know. I don't know. Let me um, let me look. I mean, I've, I'm going to have some time because it's going to take a hell of a long time just to get these platforms built. I mean, just hauling 500 items up here to get one of these built is a big deal. Then we've got to build all the stuff on top of it. So I've got plenty of time to kind of plan things out. So what I'm going to, I'll, I'll see if I can come up with a plan for this, these stairs at the back. To be honest, I don't think they're going to be particularly useful because they're going to be using these stairs. Um, the big issue that I've got, and I'll tell you now, I have not worked this out, is how I'm going to get the power up here. And <laughs> over and above that, how I'm going to get the power to like step down between these levels and and these level this is not it it's not like just that remember we've got to get all of this and all of this on there so these platforms are going to extend out and step down and they're going to come out here as well down here this um this pool i think we should make a feature of this so what i thought was uh maybe we have a pool here in some kind of shape i'm thinking maybe maybe in like half an ellipse sticking out here and then uh, the platforms above will will there'll be some kind of shape here it might be a crescent shape i i don't know and i'm gonna have the the pumps elevated and they're going to reach down into this pool and suck the water up and they're going to be like at full extension to suck water out of this pool uh, that is gonna be interesting to say the least so, uh, like, let's have a look. What buildings are we putting up here? Just so that you, you know right, right from the outset. These buildings are all to do with metal production. So these, this front row, that's what we need just to produce the stuff to feed the mine. So uh, we need treated planks, we need gears, and we need dynamite. Uh, tri no, 
Treated planks, dynamite. Is it gears as well? I don't know. Uh, yeah, gears. So we've got a couple of explosives factories, a couple of woodworking shops and gears. And to make the gears, you need planks. So a couple of plank factories. And then we've got obviously the smelters to take the, the scrap uh, the scrap metal that's uh, that's produced by the mine and turn it into metal so that's just for producing metal blocks then over here this is bot production bot production takes metal which we're already producing uh, it also needs gears and planks that goes into these and we produce bots okay awesome and then we've got the food production stuff which is this stuff so we've, we we need a minimum of four food factories I'm going to put in also six fermenters because there are three different recipes and we're going to have two, two fermenters producing each recipe. These are going to be, uh, the food factories are going to produce, they can produce three different recipes. We're going to be producing two of them. We're going to be producing corn rations, which we're currently producing. We're also going to be producing eggplant rations. So we've got to get those planted up as well. And then we've got, um, this is the oil press. We're going to be, grano we're going to be growing canola. So we've got uh, two oil presses. Uh, and we also need, in order to make um, grease, we need uh, extract. So we've got a centrifuge up here. And we need two of those and one of those to feed three grease factories. Oh, yeah. So that's what we need on these platforms as a minimum. How are we doing? We've got, we've got the second platform built. Woohoo! And there was much rejoicing. Now, I'm thinking that this would go faster if um, if we built this staircase so i think a little bit of prioritization is going to be in order so let's prioritize that and prioritize this okay power let's talk power for a second now i would love to take the power up from here and i mean i suppose like it's theoretically doable bring the power up on this side bring the power up on this side but I think you can see, I mean, you can see how difficult it's going to be to get this. But if I had the vertical power mod, then I could just go zoop, straight there. But that's the thing. That's the thing about mo like a lot of mods. They are cheats. They make the game much easier. So what I could do is run the power from here all along the back and feed it in from the back. There's going to be a back wall because I think this is going to be an aqueduct. Uh, there's going to be a, a, at least a two high wall here and here running down here. So we could run the, the, the power down the aqueduct. So, so that's what I'm going to do, um, which means that I've got the power running down this back wall or this back tile. I think what I want to do is running, run it down this tile instead, um, which is most likely what I will do in the future. But for now... I, th I think for now, it's it's just kind of important to get stuff in. So let's put that in. I'll throw in a four-way. I'm going to do everything with four ways, I think. Uh, and then run the power all the way down here. Past all of this stuff. Till we get to the back of here. Now, I think I've decided what I want to do here. So I'm going to demolish these two control towers and then we're going to have the stairs going up there and flipped around there and then I'm going to go to I think I'm going to do this am I going to do this with terrain I think I'm going to do this with terrain I'm going to put um, a couple of terrain blocks yeah a couple of terrain blocks there I should have I should have turned them around and a couple it doesn't matter and a couple of terrain blocks there um, I want a, a couple of step downs couple of high power shafts so we'll bring the power out there and there which means need to get rid of that and need to get rid of that awesome so like or do i step over it yeah i th actually that's probably a smart move so like for now at least so bring that out like that yeah yeah that makes more sense and then um and then just connect it so Zip, zip, and we'll throw in a four-way and a four-way and hook that up with straight shafts like that. Okay, that has at least got us power into the smelters. <laughs> oh, man. 
getting power out of the smelters to the next buildings, that's a completely different issue. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, well, that's all very well and good, Sky, but you haven't given yourself access to this to this path. Like, this is not connected to this. Like, you haven't connected it here. Aha, yeah, that's why I'm going to get a triple platform and drop it in there. Yeah. And then put some stairs there. Okay, cool. So now we do have access. Uh, is it the most efficient access? No, <laughs> I think it's fairly god awful. But at this point, like just being able to get to this at all is um, I'm going to regard as a major success. And I've got to say, it kind of looks cool. I do like it. I, I am liking how this is developing so far. I'm just thinking about this back wall and thinking, do I put that back wall in now before before I build this? And I'm starting to think, that's a pretty smart idea. So what would we want? We would want this. Probably, I'm thinking too high. Yeah, we'll just do, we'll just do a too high wall all the way along the back. I've got to take out these, um, these markers. I'll probably actually move those forward maybe so that I keep them. Uh, and I'll put that in and I'll prioritize it and we'll we'll get that built. And the the smelters are getting built built now. Woohoo! So we'll have scrap metal in the middle where it's closest, I guess. So scrap metal. Um that needs to be set to obtain, doesn't it? Yes it does. Are we gonna prioritize it? Um I don't oh, I suppose. Am I no, no. No, I don't think I don't think I am actually. Okay, so um, we want scrap metal on the other side as well. So obtain and scrap. Right, then we're going to need um, logs. Uh, yeah, go on, we'll do it. Let's, let's put logs in there and logs in there. Am I going to build these? No, no, I'm going to hold off until I'm absolutely certain that this is, this is how I want to do it. Now, we need some power. So at some point, I'm going to have to prioritize this this power cable and get that built. Uh, the back wall is already past the power cable, so that's not a that's not holding us back. I've got to put back in those control centers, haven't I? Okay, well I think I think I'm going to go with this, which um, elevates them two tiles, so we, we get the thing kind of coming up, uh, but also pushes them out, so that again we create kind of something a little bit more interesting. And I've put them on uh, on two blocks. And if you're thinking, well, they can't build that. Yeah, they can. They can build it from, because this is one higher. And they can reach up two. So they should be able to build all of this, which is awesome. Oh, and we have power. They've just built these two high-powered shafts. And we have power. And as soon as we got power, they started working. All except this one. Obviously got, obviously got some lazy bots in here. Uh, oh, no, because we I, I haven't switched them to bots, have I? And, of course, switching them to bots means that um, that they'll turn... Are they going to turn blue? Yes, they are going to turn blue. Awesome. So, bot in there and bot in there. Oh, I missed one. Bot in there. I think with the blue lights everywhere, this is going to look freaking awesome when it's done. Cool. So we are making metal. We are making metal locally. Awesome. Now, if you're wondering why six smelters, it's because I did the math. Uh, this uh, this mine produces six scrap metal every every let's say two hours for round numbers. If we look at the smelters, the smelters use um, uh, two scrap metal every four hours. So if you do the math. That means they're using one every two hours. That's six. So we're using six every two hours. And this produces uh, six every two hours. So slightly more. Slightly more than six every two hours. So that seems to be a pretty efficient layout, assuming that we have enough haulers to like bring all the stuff up and, and keep everything moving. But that is a damn good start. Okay, now it's time to focus on the mine. Um, so, well, the first thing I'm going to do, actually, is I'm, I'm going to tick these off my list. That's the smelters done. Also, I should go over here and I should turn off these smelters. So I'm going to pause each of those. Well, it's time to make some decisions. Man, this is tough. 
<laughs> this is really tough. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get some large metal platforms. Now, this is this part is not going to be symmetrical. So what I'm thinking to do is bring these platforms out like this. Okay. Um, I, I've been umming and ahhing about how I'm going to do the paths on here. And I think the way I'm going to do it is run this forward like this. And then have... A, I think I'm going to have a central path coming down here. Because... I don't know. I just, I, I like the idea of it. We'll see. I mean, I, I can always change my mind if, if I don't like the look of it, but I'm fairly sure that this is how it's going to be. Yeah. Uh, now, um, my science is, um, is slowly going down. So I think, I, I'm thinking of putting a couple of number crunches in. Um, because it'll, it'll create some interest. It'll create some, uh, some height and some, uh, some movement. And it'll also give us a, a couple of little nooks to put some charging stations in. This is, man, this is hard. I have to make so many decisions and I'm so bad at making decisions. Okay, uh, let's put paths across the back. And then what did I want? I wanted some two high platforms there. Okay, then, then we get the number crunches. So we'll have one in there. Is that the way I want it? Yeah, I think that's the way I want it. And that one in there. Okay, good. Now um, let's get uh, let's get a couple of charging stations. So we can set charging stations back in like that, can't we? So we can have one there, one there, and one there, one there. It gives us four charging stations, which for these is is more than enough. Okay, so we would need uh, at least a platform there and a platform there, and then have the path connecting those up on both sides uh, that path needs to extend out on both sides now I, the thing is I, I also want to leave some room for a bit of decoration how's that looking is that starting to look imposing at the back yeah I think so now I could I could have put these as just like a block of six here okay just back to back them would have been way easier, would have taken up way less space. Um, but I don't think it would have looked as good. And the difficult thing about this build is the balance of looks and cosmetics versus practicality and efficiency. And I like if I have to make a choice between the two, I'm gonna go for looks for, for darn sure. Okay, right. Um, yeah, I've got to fit these buildings onto here somehow. Now, I can bring the power down. It's just a question of whether I need the extra platform. I, I'm really thinking that I do need the extra platform. Let's see Let's see what it would look like. Uh, what do I want? I want a large amount of platform. It's starting to look quite cool, I have to say. Yeah, what I would like with these is to, is to kind of have them in a bit of a horseshoe shape. That's, that's the idea. So I'm trying not to jam the buildings together. So I've left the space in here. And I want the buildings kind of going up in height. So what I'm thinking is to have the dynamite buildings. Where are they? Uh, landscaping and explosives. I'm thinking to have the explosives factories there. Yeah. Now, the question, do I have them on that? I think probably like back one. So like that. Because they're they're a little bit taller, and you you kind of create start to create some interesting shapes around the place, and then uh, I've got to put in the factories for the treated planks, which is the wood sh uh, the wood workshops, because I, I really like these buildings and I want to show them off. Do I have? I want to leave three space in between these so that I can have a path down the middle and then have um, charging stations either side if I want them. Actually, if we had that, yeah, if we had them there and there, that leaves room for paths and some decorations. Yeah. Now, <laughs> I, that does mean that I've separated all of the buildings, so I'm going to have to have power connections to all of these darn things, which makes life a bit tricky. Okay, I think I've got it. So I've run the power out, out of the number cruncher around here. 
Uh, the reason I, I could have taken it from here, but I think I'm gonna, probably going to put another charger in there. Um, but I've got room. I've got room. I could put another charger in there. So anyway, uh, I've taken this round here. And then, it, so that goes into these two buildings. Okay, that's fine. And then I've got uh, a power connector connecting this to these two buildings. And then we've got a four-way connector there connecting these two buildings. And then a step up there onto here. So now all I need to do is put in, let's say, pal, uh, put in, if I put in a four-way there and step it down, as you can see, that like my placement of buildings has made this like as freaking difficult as possible. So I have three-way there and three-way there. So that hook connects these buildings and then I've got plenty of room around them to have um, small storages, a uh, bit of decoration, charging stations. Yeah, yeah. That, um, I mean, they're powered. That's the important thing. The, the only thing I don't like is this power shaft here because because you can't get past it. You have to go this way or then, good Lord. <laughs> yeah, you've got to go all the way around there. Man, yeah, I, I got to say, I don't like that. Now, I've got an, I've got alternatives. Uh, what do I want? Uh, I want to demolish these two buildings, uh, which means I can get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of those two buildings as well. Okay. So um, I just paused the game while I try and do this because they're trying to build these. What am I? What am I going to do? Um, I'm going to put some storage underneath to lift to lift these smaller buildings up, which should still be okay. We'll we'll see. It wasn't my first choice, but if it solves the problem, and we need somewhere for gear storage anyway, and these these medium warehouses would do the job. So if we had those there. And do, now, do I go with... Ah, yeah, because this would could be for storing the dynamite. Okay, all right. Let's do, let's do that. And then we put those buildings back in. I think that was the way it was. It'll be fine. How does, how does that look? Yeah, that's, that, that's still fine. Yeah, that works. Um, well, how does that solve your problem, Sky? Well, the thing is, now what I can do, if I move this building over one, so let's grab uh, Explosives Factory and put that there. What I can now do is lift the power up over this. So we have the path going in. Oh, come on. We have the path there. Um, do I leave a space for something there? I could have a store. You know what? I might, I might do that. Uh, storage. Let's put, a, let's put a, a little storage in there. God knows what we use it for, but I'm sure I'll find some reason to use it. Then I want power. Uh, I want a shaft going up there. Join it into the buildings. Uh, do I use a three-way or four-way? I'd use a four-way. Use a four-way. Okay. So that gets us up to that level on top of there. Yep. So all we need is a platform there. And then we can hook the power in like that. That gets us power into this building. And of course, because we're elevated now, I can put a platform. This solves a lot of problems. I can put a platform there and just have the power running in across there. Uh, but I don't want that because instead of having the power running on the ground, we're now up at this level. So yeah, a couple more platforms going across here and then run the power. We'll have a three way which way? That way. And run the power into there. And that is all the buildings connected. Well, it's all built except uh, a couple of power connectors. I need to put some stairs in, don't I? Yeah. So stairs go there, 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 and there. And is everything powered? I do believe everything is powered. These are running. The, oh, these are running. Ha, ha, ha. Awesome. What am I going to put in here? Well, let's see. What does the dynamite use? Uh, ah, now the dynamite uses bad water. Okay, I need some room to put in a medium storage for the bad water. <laughs> what do I want? Uh, I want not water storage. And um, see, would be would have been cool to get a large 
Ooh. <laughs> I'm thinking, why should I move those up? No. I mean, a large tank would have been kind of cool there. It's best, like, because it matches these, because it's all silver and shiny. But I'd want, I'd, I think I'd want more space than that. Now, I could put in another platform just so that I could have a large, a large tank sitting out there. Oh, that's a bit excessive, Sky. Yeah, but it would look cool. You know what? I, I'm, I'm so blooming tempted to do it. I, I think I'm probably going to end up doing it. Am I? Yeah, probably. Go on. What do I want? I want uh, another large metal platform. Th this is very, very excessive. It really is. And then storage and a large tank. Yeah. Do I leave? Do I leave a bit more space, or do I just have it there? I mean, this is this is extract, which. Oh no! This is going to be bad water. Ah, see, this is bad water. This is bad stuff. So, like having a bit of space around it. Oh uh, yeah, I think that kind of adds to the mythology, don't you think? And it keeps us a bit spaced out, which is kind of nice. Uh, do I have stuff around that? I don't know. Maybe. But I mean, if nothing else, I could put a bit of fencing around. Oh, actually, <laughs> let's have a look. Not well-being decoration. Uh, we got yeah, we got fences. Wooden fence, metal fence. I think probably the wooden fence. What is the metal fence? Oh, the metal fence is quite cool. Oh, a metal fence all the way around it. Oh, I, I yeah, I kind of, I got to say, I kind of like this. This is staggeringly wasteful of space, but you know, that's me. What do we, what do we think of that? Does it, does it, does it look? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good idea. Yeah, that's going in. That's going in for sure. Okay, so I was just looking at this, and I was thinking, you know what? It's a little bit too flat. We need to introduce some height into this. And I was thinking of doing doing something here, and I probably will. Uh, something taller. But then I, I was looking at this, and I was thinking, hang on a second. What, like, what about, what about if that was taller? And uh, yeah, I think, I think I've got an idea. If um, if I get rid of that, like, what about if we were to put a large warehouse there? Right, fill that with dynamite, which is like bright red, so that'll look pretty cool, I would think. Assuming that we can we can get excess dynamite and fill it up, which I I think we probably will. We're already starting to get dynamite in those down there. Uh, and then put the tank on the top. Now, the only issue here is, I mean, apart from it being a bit silly, but it, once it's filled in, it won't look so silly. Uh, and we're keeping all the dangerous stuff over here, so the fencing makes sense, except that I think I'm going to lose the fencing, or at least the fencing at the front. It's a question whether I can get stairs up there. That's the question. If, if it's only two levels, I can do it. I can do it easily. Let's have a look. Uh, we want a path goes up there and then a couple of platforms uh, well three platforms actually and then oh that one that one needs to be a double doesn't it I in an ideal world double goes in there stairs go in there <laughs> and we have access yeah but you've broken that path yeah but we just put that in like that this is the advantage of leaving a little bit of space. Now, it, I mean, it, I don't know. Is it going to look ridiculous? I don't think it is going to look ridiculous. I mean, I think it looks pretty good now. I think when it's when this is full of dynamite, it's going to look even better. Oh, hell yeah. What on earth am I going to do? See, just that little bit of height over there. I like it. I like it. I'm thinking I need to do something here as well. But I got to be careful though, because I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to block this off. I'm, I'm already not so keen on this. I would have, I would have liked this to be down on the, on the lower level. But it's fine, it's fine. I can live, I can live with that. We can still see the smokestacks. That's the important thing. Well, you know what? I think maybe that is a good place to leave it for this episode. Uh, I'm going to rip out. So we've got all of those buildings in. They can go away. So. We have done, we've done all of the basic industry. We've got to do the bots and we've got to do the agricultural industry. 
and we've got to do the pumping and there's still tons to do but i think i think that's a good place to leave it for now and get some feedback from you guys what do you think is this headed in the right direction is it cool is it garbage leave a comment let me know guys thanks for being here i hope you've enjoyed this little journey because i've had a freaking ball doing this uh, i i seriously i can't wait to carry on and, and, and extend this and see like what can we create guys i'll catch you for the next one peace out <laughs>